The Saints, first of all, had Wellens at fullback. Then they went Gardner, Lyon, Talau and Melly, Price and Long, who was the captain and scrum half. The forwards, Anderson, Cunningham and Kalis, Gilmore, Wilkin and Hooper. And on the bench for the Saints, Roby, Bennett, Graham and Fasavalu. The coach, Daniel Anderson. Hull, so far, have certainly not been phased by the occasion or this sellout crowd. It's Cook, it's wide to Rayner. He takes it brilliantly. He dips down to it. Does he get it down in time? No. Here comes the decision from Steve Presley. Think this will be in the negative. It is, and Saints will get head and feet at the scrum. Well, St. Helens will restart here then on halfway. This is Maori Fossabalu. When will we see Saints swing it wide? It's with Cunningham. Showed it to two, showed it to three. Held on and had to take the tackle. Hull were not fooled by that. And there is a player down injured, I think it's Jason Hooper. This is Leon Price. Good hold defence, not only they're muscling up down the middle, they're bringing the centres out wide to force Saints right down the centre. Long again, attacking the line. Jason Kalis takes the tackle, Richard Horn over the top, Hooper with a problem, obviously. It's with Cunningham, here is Long. Long with a beautiful dab over the top, chance for Miller! But they are the best at striking forward. Eyes for the season now. All came about by the controversial penalty, got them into a position. But the way that Long took that on that short blind side, well weighted. They really caught them out of it. Motu Tony on that right wing. Persistence has paid off. St. Helens side are a ratting hull. They are back in that half again on the very first tackle. And they're with Wellens. The fullback takes the tackle. Lyon is the dummy half. Here is Sean Long. Now it's Jason Kalis. Kalis gets the ball away to Jason Hooper. A problem for A.D. Gardner on the wing here. This is Leon Price. Little dummy down the left-hand side. Great ball around the corner. Oh, an important tackle by Gomic on John Wilkin. It's with Sean Long again. Danger here. Long attacking the line. And they just managed to hold him out on the last. Cunningham fires the pass to Wellens. Lyon wants it back here. Jamie Lyon gets it. Lyon taking them on. Great ball. Andy Gardner. Wellens keeping it alive. Gardner again. Gardner to Gilmore. Can Hull repel the borders? Well, it's still St. Helens. Crossfield kick. Looking for Melly out wide. Gets Melly. Ball goes back. Willie Talau. Talau dabs the ball to the in goal area and that will run too deep. Well, he had the opportunity, there's no second phase in attack there from the black and whites. They've got to up the tempo. Cook hoists the kick out wide and it finds its way into the arms of, Mot of uh, Gareth Rayner. Ball is played back on side. It's a try here. The Gomic. Tremendous break. Good support. As I mentioned, Wilkin just made sure that he balanced himself before committing into the tackle. But Saint to pay the price. Good kick there from Paul Cook. They didn't attempt to go for the football. And what an offload by Tony. And Kieran Cunningham. Here he is. One more. Oh, Gilmore. Lyon. Jamie Lyon against Briscoe. Ball to nobody. There was nobody there. Hull are in no mood here tonight to play second fiddle. This is Roby. Long at dummy half for St. Helens. Gets the ball in field to John Wilkin. They're so quick out of the line defensively, Hull, at the moment. This is Graham. Spinning, getting the ball away. Wellens. Wellens to Long. And Long finds Lyon. Will he make the same mistake again this time? No, he won't. It's Gardner. It's a wonderful tackle from Briscoe. He knew, he knew he was about to run an obstruction. He knew that a player had run interference for him, but he stopped and he came back and he pretty much accepted the tackle. As far as I'm concerned, that's play on. Well, if the man who was supposed to be obstructed finish up doing the tackle, it should be. Leon Price on the break for Saints. Leon Price will get over for St. Helens. Just before half time, they are the past masters of it. Perhaps 
the penalty shouldn't have gone against Carl in the first place. But you cannot lick your wounds for long when you are playing the Saints. Months ago, and he's just scored a very important try. Well, the penalty went against him, didn't he, for the shepherding. Got himself into a position. It's the first real break that we've seen from the standoff. But it was a good dummy, and it was a tremendous fend. Here we go into the corner. He knew he was going to get there. This is the option. And I mean, the man was not interfered as much as I am. That is a poor decision by the man with the whistle. Take nothing away from this guy. Watch the dummy and then the fend with the left arm. Right into the corner. That is something special. And when it comes to grand finals, you need something extraordinary. And this is just that. What a time. What a killer punch. They're happy. Black and whites. They certainly won't be. As Lyon lines this conversion attempt up, and Lyon this time finds the mark. St. Helens 10, hole 4 on the stroke of half time, and there goes the siren. Half time. Swain to Paul Cook, and back it comes again to Graham Horn. He loses it under pressure. It's Hooper, it's Gilmore, it's Price. Price offloads brilliantly to Gilmore in the tackle. Gilmore goes down the middle, halted by Richard Horn and Gareth Garvel. And that's the zero tackle. Leon Price, Jason Hooper. Kieran Cunningham about to return to the fray as Wellens goes in at dummy half. He finds Sean Long. Long then to Anderson. Anderson on one knee, gets it back to the Man of Steel, Paul Wellens. And he is grounded by Gareth Carvel. Here's Cunningham, quickly back into the action, gives it to James Graham, Graham on the angle run. Building in confidence now, Saints, running the angles, they feel they've got Hull on the rack. The ball to Mike Bennett from Sean Long on tackle number four. Ten metres away from the line, Cunningham again, misses out Graham, bounces awkwardly for Roby, back it comes to Hooper, it's opened up for Hooper, it opens up for Tallow. from dummy half came about by the error they soon got to it it has been a huge problem for Hull since the restart it was good work here Roby got it away Graham got a touch but what about the final pass from Hooper superb see Graham there didn't try to go for it just palmed it back nice dummy from Hooper good positioning from Talau if they want to win this match they've got half an hour and they're 10 points behind they've got enough ability to come back and score and when actually they won at Nosley Road in June this year they came back from a 16 points to 6 deficit in that game they have the ability they have that in their memory bank but they cannot afford to concede again yes they've been across the territory before this is St Helens 35th game of 2006 it is Hull's 32nd they exited the Challenge Cup of the first hurdle this year. So they've both had long and gruelling seasons, but, uh, well, who has the most? Oh, and that ball has ricocheted off a Hull player. Ooh. It's all on, says the referee. Briscoe and it's back to zero. Briscoe went in very, very hard. Jason Hooper felt it. Six to go for St Helens, though. Here is Roby. And they're coming up with all the tricks now. Roby to Graham. Hooper is down and receiving treatment. It must have been an attempted charge down on the kick by Hull. Kalis driving it forward. Gets to his feet after the tackle from Radford. Cunningham, Cunningham. Brought down by the tackle from Richard Whiting. Four tackles gone, this set of six. Leon Price down the short side. James Graham, Willie Tallow. Important tackle by Motu Tony. it was the last. And here is Cunningham. Sean Long wants it and gets it in centre field. He'll put the kick out wide. Oh, it's a test for Reina. It's a try for A.D. Gardner. It's a try for Gardner if he is onside from the kick. Axe from the Great Britain Tri Nations party. He could just have won or helped to win the grand final for.
for the Saints. He's a mile on side. Yeah, well, uh, not a mile anymore, but at least a yard, and that's sufficient. What a leap. Remember, we saw in the first half when they didn't go for the try, uh, go to take the ball and allow Dominic to score for Hull. Eddie, I'm not so sure he's grounded this one. I oh. think Steve Presley is. I think Steve Presley has seen enough. It's T.R.Y., don't worry. Here comes the decision and the try to St. Helens. To the corner, give it plenty of air, give it the chance. It came from the charge down. Here is the incident where Hooper gets the both knees from Frisco. But watch this. They laid off him. They really should have applied more pressure. What a leap, what a take, and what a T.R.Y. You take your chances, and they've done that. Cheer for Gardner. Lyon to try and add the extras. And he does. 20 points to four. It goes your way. And I think last week we saw Hull get a few things go their way against the Bradford side. Tonight that one's certainly gone for St Helens. Sean, I asked you the question about the charge down. One oh, off load from Kalis. Here is Roby. The point I'm trying to make, it's all right doing a charge down when you're way downfield. If they do get a mistake, then you've got chance to recover. They did it about the halfway line. Absolutely. Sometimes you'll see a try score. A player will charge a ball down 20 metres out, 30 metres out. But somewhere around the halfway, Steve, oh, I can't go along with it. But there's a, just a natural instinct by players to put pressure on. That's a tremendous kick again from Sean Long to put Hull under pressure. And then the year that they beat Witness. And uh, since their promotion to Super League in 1997, they really do offer hope to everybody in Super League. And they offer hope here to their supporters because this is Radford and here is Horn and Wellens with a man of steel tackle tremendous work there by Wellens didn't get sucked in to Radford Cook wide to Motu Tony look at the St Helens defence the way it's muscled up but Tony is over the line and who was there great tackle it's by Mr. Paul Wellens break it's a penalty to Hull it's a charge for the line by Carvel Well, has he got it down? No, it was only the, the other arm, not the ball-carrying one. Swain to Cook. Cook to Richard Horn. Here is Sean Briscoe. Briscoe wide to Yeeman. Yeeman tackled out of it by Sean Long, who plays the ball to Rayner. And Rayner will come in midfield to give it to Swain. And Swain will take the ball as though there was no one there. Another great tackle from John Wilkin. He got through 20 tackles in the first half to the second rower. Here's Paul Cook. There's the pass. They have a man on the overlap. But many comes this way. Finds you and Dow's in the end. There are two there. Long and Bennett. Dow is still going. There's a right struggle. And you and Dow's eventually takes the tumble. Well, that would have been a try of the season from a forward if he'd have got over there. There was five pushing him back. McMenemy gets the ball away to Swain. On the half volley, it's picked up by Richard Horn. Here is Lee Radford. Dominic is with him. So too much to Tony. And great work defensively by the St. Helens winger. Dominic and Motu Tony bring him down. Last tackle here for Saints. Talao to Long. Nonchalant kick. Just turning Briscoe around. Stands up on the goal line. He passes the ball in field to Gareth Rayner. Rayner trying to use his speed. Oh, uh, what a tackle. What a tackle. And Saints have got the ball back. Our side track camera that goes the length and breadth of Old Trafford tonight showed that perfectly. It was a real cruncher. Willie Tallow just put his body on the line. They've come up with possession. Now, Graham. It's curtains now as Saints roll over for a, a T.O.Y. Cunningham short ball, fast of a loo, gets the ball away, Cunningham, he has scored, Cunningham. Kieran Cunningham, if this is given by Steve Presley, not only will it be a crucial try in the course of tonight's grand final, but it would be the 150th try that Kieran Cunningham will have scored for the Saints. Has he got it down? I think you see there, he probably has. See better on the slow-mo on the side action. Is it down? There will be no doubt. And so does the big screen now. And it's 150 tries.
for Kieran Cunningham in his St. Helens career, back of the whole resistance. Good defence, Talao's attack, pick it up, use the big fellas coming through, once they offload, you can see they were very slow, Hull getting it into a good position, McManamy was hanging back, once he was offloaded, McManamy couldn't get there, he should have been in the front line, he was on the side angle, and Peter Sharp knows that that is the end. And the attendance tonight, 72,500, it's a Super League Grand Final record, this event just keeps on breaking the mould year after year after year. And just think, Steve-O, in 1998, they said, a grand final, it will never work. There's a lot of things in rugby league where people said it wouldn't work, Eddie. The video screen, changing the rules, the 40-20, we can keep on going, and the game does progress, and it does get better. And I can safely say, and I don't think many people will argue with me either, that this season, the Here same team... Working has been the best for a long, long time in the red and white. Leon Price will play the ball, and quickly too. And here is Francis Melli, and he couldn't smuggle the ball to long. Last tackle. They want it fed right and quickly. Talao, long, stabs the kick in, looking for the post, misses them, misses everybody. There'll be no histrionics. Apollo Perolini, who has been a star of so many of... St. Helens, great moments in the Super League era. And that Jamie Lyon work. pumps the ball out. You have to feel sorry for Peter Sharp. They're counting down, listen to them. St. Helens are the Super League champions of 2000.